It was an ordinary day and I was just home doing laundry and the phone rang, I answered it and it was a lady from the financial aid office at Penn State Barron. The lady told me that I was the recipient of a scholarship from the Sam and Irene Black School of Business and I couldn't believe it and even when I got off the phone and told my mother it still didn't seem like reality to me. It's always easier to do something in life when you have someone supporting you and I have Penn State Barron and its community to thank for that. In 1855, the Pennsylvania Legislature chartered a college in Center County, dedicated to the study of agriculture and science. The new Pennsylvania State College soon became a vital resource across the state. By the 1930s, Penn State was the leading provider of baccalaureate degrees in the Commonwealth. Four campuses had been established, and there were statewide demands for more. In Erie, a group of local businessmen took on the mission of bringing a campus to the city. The trail eventually led to Glen Hill Farm, a state of nationally known papermaker Ernst Behrend, co-founder of Hammer Mill Paper Company in Erie. The son and grandson of Prussian papermakers, Ernst Behrend had built Hammer Mill in 1899. In 1907, he married Rhode Island native Mary Brownell. Over the next several years, a son, Warren, and daughter Harriet were born to the couple. The Barons raised their children at their home on Hammer Mill Plant grounds, where, as Mary said, they lived almost in the mill yard with a switching engine snorting past the front porch. In 1928, the Barron family moved to its country retreat at Glen Hill Farm. Well, evidently living at Glen Hill Farm was country living, but at its finest. They had horseback riding, skeet shooting, swimming, entertaining, and gardening to create beautiful grounds. Now, of course, they had help to make it so beautiful. They had a staff of about 30. In 1940, Ernst Barron died. In the succeeding years, Mary spent less and less time at the farm. But in 1948, she had a chance encounter with two men at Glen Hill that changed the course of history and educational opportunity in northwestern Pennsylvania. Well, she had returned back east from a trip to California in the spring of 1948. And the story is told that she came onto the, the farm and was surprised to see two men walking near the pool. She quickly discovered, however, that they were representatives from Penn State University who were in the area scouting potential sites for an area campus, a regional campus of Penn State. And that's why they had come to visit Glen Hill. Well, as Mary led these visitors on a tour of the farm, it soon became evident to her that they were seriously interested in using this particular site as a regional campus for Penn State. Naturally, she was pleased they regarded her country home so highly and probably a little bit flattered by that. And it was shortly after that visit that she decided to donate the farm to Penn State University. Well, Glen Hill Farm probably had an enormous amount of emotional value to Mary because this is where she and Ernst spent many of their happy years together, raising their family. It was their retreat from the busy, hectic times. And so leaving Glen Hill, giving it away, meant giving away those nooks and crannies of the house, of the grounds, that meant so much to her. On October 30th, 1948, Mary Brownell Behrend spoke at the dedication of Glen Hill Farm, the new Behrend Center of Pennsylvania State College. Looking back over the years, I know I was able to make two important and very right decisions. The first in 1907, when I consented to marry Ernst Behrend. The second decision was to make this outright gift to the Pennsylvania State College as a memorial to my husband. I had told Harriet that I, I think this is something that would be a wonderful memorial to Father, something he almost would have planned himself. Well, within months of uh, Mary Barron's dedication here at uh, Glen Hill Farmhouse, uh, the, the first class uh, arrived at 146 strong. Since then, we've kind of grown a little bit. Uh, we now uh, are approaching 4,500 students, and uh, we have over 25,000 alumni worldwide. I think this snapshot of uh, the campus's growth is uh, really a, a profound uh, indication of Mary's generosity. Uh, this campus has had a, a long-lasting effect on uh, generations of students and their families. Today, the college offers more than 40 programs of study at associate, bachelor's, and graduate degree levels. 
The campus has undergone an incredible transformation in recent years, with new academic buildings, on-campus housing, athletic and recreational facilities, and the creation of Knowledge Park. The people are amazing here, both the faculty, staff, and the students. One of our strong points is the ratio of students to faculty, so we really work to make sure that our students um, feel that connection. The Red Sea has been on campus for over a year now. I think that the Red Sea is most unique because it does bring business and engineering students together under one roof. The Red Sea is a true example of collaboration that can happen anywhere. This building really exemplifies what can happen when you bring together the right people at the right place at the right time. Despite the physical transformation of the college, the charm and rustic appeal of Glen Hill Farm can still be felt at Penn State Behrend. And the generosity of Mary Behrend has become an enduring legacy. And I'm currently working at GE in their Edison Engineering Program on locomotive standardization. Penn State Behrend provided me with very good problem-solving skills that allows me to understand technical problems quickly and shortens the learning curve. Penn State Barron was an excellent choice. And one of the main things that I've been able to do um, here at Penn State Barron is to participate in the scale-up program um, and be a teacher's assistant for the scale-up program, which helps me prepare for being a teacher's assistant in grad school and possibly teaching after grad school. My time here at Penn State Barron has been really tremendous and I'm really excited about my future. I'm a marketing major and political science minor. Um, from here, I plan to take a year off and then go, into, go to law school. And my number one choice actually is uh, Penn State Dickinson School of Law. You know, the one-on-one -on -one relationship that I could find here is something that you can't find everywhere and it just so happened to work out so perfectly. Graduate school is all about research and that research experience is, is exactly what graduate programs are looking for and I think you know that is the value of a Penn State Barron education um, in that Penn State Barron you know it kind of sets their students apart um, it gives them that extra step ahead uh, to be prepared for graduate school and to me you know that's the value of a Penn State Barron education. So actually I am the first person in my family to graduate with a four-year degree and it's really exciting you know I'm able to figure out problems and create things it's, it's just really exciting for me to, to see that growth in myself. Penn State Barron was a perfect fit. I think Mary Barron would be proud that we could utilize this land in this way and that it's really appreciated.